Right, in this question, I prepared a little bit in advance. I've got all the months. I've got, I've counted the number of letters in each of them, and then the number of the month, um, and then the number of days in the month. So, we're told that Lydia notices that during January, the number of letters in the name is greater than the month's numerical label. Seven is greater than one. And so, she's sort of keeping track of uh, yeah, how many days there are with this property. So 31's in there. February, we see that eight is greater than two. So 28 or 29. Now, because this is 2024, it is a leap year. If the date is divisible by four, then it's a leap year, except for some exceptions, such as uh, the millennium to year 2000. Every now and then they skip a leap year, but I'm not gonna go into more detail on that. Um, for the next you know significant number of years, it will always be a leap year when the dates are multiple of four. March were sorted as well. And April just about. Okay, but actually that is it from then on. September is equal but not greater than. So it's going to be these four months and we can quickly add them up. Um, I'm going to get 60 from the first two, 61 from the second two, so the answer is going to be 121. Brilliant. You might be able to do this a bit quicker. I've gone, I actually wrote down all the months when I did it. I don't know, I just didn't want to be caught out. But as soon as you start getting to, you know, these later ones, there's just not enough in there. But they are, they do get quite close, some of them, especially September. So it, it feels like better to be safe and take a bit more time on it. Now, the only thing I'm going to say at the end is how do you, how do you remember how many days are in each month? You know, you might have a way of doing it already. But I'm just going to say, so the way I remember it is to say 30 day, I remember a rhyme my childhood 30 days have September, April, June and November all the rest have 31 except February clear which has 28 or 29 in each leap year the, the rhyme goes something like that so that that always I always like play that in my mind to actually remember how many days are in a certain month another way to do it which is uh which is very good is to use your knuckles this is a little schematic from Wikipedia on using the knuckles and basically, you, you just go along, you have your knuckle and then a bit in between your knuckle. And all your knuckles are 31 days and, and you just count along the months up here. And then all the bits in between are not 31 days. So they're mostly 30, you just need to remember that February is a special case. Very effective, I think, as well as the rhyme. So one of these two methods, you might have your own way of remembering it as well, absolutely fine. But yeah, that's how we do this question.